Welcome everyone to another Jaltus Marine Vlog. We're going to be showing you how to connect and how to change parameters and perform calibrations with the Volvo Penta EVC technology, electronic vessel control. The system is mostly present under diesel engines, although it also can be found in some gasoline engines. First, we need to press the inboard picture in order to access the brand menu and click here into Volvo Penta. Now select the desired model. I'm going to the D series, the diesels. I'm going to click it to the D4. And as you can see, we have multiple systems, Deltaist, as Omex, and all systems, not just the engine. How can we identify our EVC technology? Very simple. You can click here and then into the connector help menu. You will see either a multi function panel, which will be found on EVC MC, EVC A, B and C, and then we have D and E, which is identified through the ECM. Now let's do the example with the EVCE. I click connect. And now we access the diagnostics menu. We have three options, system data, which is the EC data, which tells us the EVC model we have. Then we go into parameters. We have three options in this case, language and unit, idle speed or fuel tank. Let's do the example with fuel tank. Obviously, although we're using a technical release, we are writing on the ECM. We need to accept the extra mode conditions. This code is totally free. You can request it in your client area in jaltas.com. We accept. And now we open the technical release. It's very, very well explained. In this case, it tells you that this is um, the procedure for EVC D, E, and E2. For example, here, before performing the parameter setting, you must turn the ignition key on and activate the helm station where it will be performed. You have three types of displays, fill tank configuration, etc., etc. It's very well explained. That's why it's so important the technical information. Java's Marine and it's available within the software. This is very important. Now let's go into calibrations. Here we have these configurations and functionalities. For example, we have control lever, joystick, and fuel level sensor. Very important. If we are changing the component, we must click first into update here under auto configuration and follow the instructions based on the number of engines we have and then click into the calibration we need for example control lever and we follow the instructions again we click here and we accept the extra mode conditions step one what we're about to do and it tells you inf information that's important like you know that you have to do the anti auto configuration process first And now again, you have your technical release. You just need to follow the instructions. It's very, very well explained. As you can see, very simple process. It's a fictitious system because it is not wire connected to anything. We have to do it manually, but that's why it's so important to have all the technical information. Thank you for watching us and if you are a Volvo Penta user, I suggest you to watch the vlog called Doing Passive Diagnostics with Volvo Penta and also the webinar Dealer Level Diagnostics on Volvo Penta with Jaltas Marine. Thank you for watching and see you again very soon.